it's Selena. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. So today I'm going to show you how I make my end slate uh, for the outro because I always have like a video overlay of my last video uh, on my end slate. And some of you guys asked me, can you make a video about it? Because we want to know how it works. So yeah, that's what I'm showing you today because uh, in Windows Movie Maker you can't uh, add like video overlays. So I have like a different way of doing that. I actually use PowerPoint for this, so you need PowerPoint. Anyway, I hope this video is helpful and if it is then give this video a thumbs up and yeah, let's just hop right into this video. There are several photo editors or websites you can use to make a end card. Uh, but what I suggest, I recommend if you want to use like an easy website, you can use pickmonkey.com or Photojet. And what I'm going to use now is Photojet. So you want to create a design, so I'm going to click on your design, get started. Since we want to use the dimensions of a YouTube channel art, we want to click on that. And then you already have the right dimensions of a uh, end card, which is 1280 by 720. So first I'm going to start with the background. You can leave it like this, just white. Uh, they also have all kinds of designs on this website. As you can see here, uh, what I like to do is just add a background. So I'm going to Google and then I'm just going to look for a nice background picture. So I was thinking about like doing an ombre background, so that's what I'm going to look up. And then I'm going to save that picture. So when you've saved your picture for your background that you want to use, uh, you can also use like a photo of course. You go back to Photojet and now I'm going to add my background photo so you can click here on add photo and then I want to have it for my computer and now I'm going to open the background picture that I want to use and then you can drag your photo onto the, your design and make it bigger so now I'm going to add some text so I go here and I click on text and then add text and now you can just write your text. So what I like to do, I'm just going to move this up there on the top and I'm going to write my channel name, which is Little World of Alina, of course. So of course, this doesn't look nice at all. You can change like the font of your uh, text and also make it bigger. So first I'm going to choose the font that I want to use. So I click on this A. And then they have like a lot of fonts on the website itself. But you can also download fonts, which is really easy. You can do that on thefonts.com. It's super handy. So as you can see, I've got a lot of fonts that I downloaded from the font. So I'm just going to look what I uh, want to use for uh, the font for my end card. Okay, so it just changed uh, from web browser because Chrome crashed or something. So now I'm using Mozilla. Anyway, I'm going to use um, this font for um, my text, which is going to be on the top. Always on my heart is the font. And then I also want to change that a little. So here on the left, you can use all kind of different styles. So I like to have like some white letters with a black... Um, like thing around it. I don't know, I just explain. So I want it always on my heart and then you can change the size of your text. So what I want to do now is add like two sections where I can put my last video and a random video in it. So um, I want to add a shape and they have all kind of different shapes I like to use a square and then you can change uh, the shape of the square so it will be like the dimensions of a video but you can't like put it to 1280 by 720 so I think I'm going to open a thumbnail now and use that so I know um, what I the, the right dimensions that I need to use so now I've opened two thumbnails 
Uh, I'm going to add those pictures to my design and I'm going to make them smaller. It's just that I know the right dimensions uh, of a thumbnail video. Oh, my background just went away, so I'm going to put that back. Now I'm going to make these squares a little bit smaller. Okay, so I kind of like the dimensions of this um, section, so I'm going to duplicate it so I have the exact same uh, dimensions here. And I'm going to place that right next to the other one and I'm going to remove this picture because we don't want that one. So now I'm going to add some more text because I want to have uh, here on the left above this square I want to have last video and here on the right uh, I want to have a random video so that's what I'm going to type now. And again you can totally like change uh, the size and the font of your text, uh, just do what you like and things looks nice. So I'm going to use this sample uh, that has like a um, purple background, I think you can also change the color of that and I'm going to use cookie. Okay, so now I want to add like a subscribe button here somewhere in the middle uh, and also all my social media here down below. So I'm going to look a picture of a subscribe button uh, on Google. And yeah, I changed again to Chrome to look this picture up. So anyway, that doesn't really matter. I'm going to look up subscribe button and then I'm going to images. And I'm going to look for the one I want to use. I think I'm just going for the first one. Okay, so I'm just going to use this button and I click on save image. And then I've got my subscribe button PNG and I'm going back to my project. And I click on add photo and I'm going to open that one from my computer. You can also change the color, that's nice kind of purpley color or pink. I think I'm going to make it pink. And now I want to add my social media onto my end card. And for this, I want to look up the logos of, um, of the social media, like Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. So on Google, I'm going to look for Instagram logo PNG. So I'm just going to save this PNG. And now I'm going to look for a Twitter logo PNG. Now it's time to look for the Snapchat logo and save that picture. So now I'm back in PhotoJet. I'm going to open all the logos that I just saved and I'm going to place the logos. So now I've placed my logo in my design and I'm going to write my text for all my social media names. So now I'm totally satisfied with how my end card looks and I'm going to click on save and I want to have like the highest quality of course. Click on save to computer and you've got your end card. So now I'm going to show you how you can add a video uh, onto your end card because of course you can't do that in Windows Movie Maker so for that I'm using PowerPoint, sorry that it is in Dutch but I don't know how you can change like um, the language so what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on insert and then I'm going to click on images and now I'm going to open my end card and insert that and of course you want to fit your end card to the screen so I'm going to make my end card a little bit bigger and then you can add uh, the videos that, I want, that you want to use so I'm going again to insert so then I click on video and then on video on my computer so now I'm just opening my video and it will take like a while and as you can see it's a little bit too big so I'm going to change the size of my video and bring it down and I'm going to place that onto my section of my last video and after that I'm also opening uh, a random video. 
So now I want to change the duration of my video, so I'm going to click on the video and then you go to lay, no wait, then you go to playback and then click on cutting the video and now you can like move this thing and change the time because I only want to have my video for like 50 seconds, 15 seconds I mean and that's also what I'm going to do with the random video so now I've changed the durations of my videos and what I'm going to do now I'm going to add like the thumbnail so that will be like the start uh, of the video so I'm going to click on layout here and then I'm going to click on this button and I want to open a uh, thumbnail of my computer and also for the other for the random video I'm also going to open a poster frame And then this is what it looks like. So now you will have like your thumbnail before the video will start playing. And I think that just looks really nice. And I'm going to show you how you can save your end card as a video. So you click on this button and then you go to export, then create a video and again create a video. And now uh, your design will be saved as a video. So now I've saved my end card as a video and I'm going to Windows Movie Maker now to open my outro. So I'm going to click on add videos and then I can open my end card. The last thing I'm going to do with this clip, uh, I'm going to click on edit and then I want to bring the volume down because later on I want to add a song uh, underneath my outro. And that's how I make my end card for my videos. So that's how I make my insulate. I hope that this video was helpful and you enjoyed to watch it. Uh, if it was, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. And um, if you have like any more video requests or, or any other questions, then just leave them in the comments down uh, below and I will try to reply to all of them. Um, if you want to follow me on all my social media, they're in the description box below. And I see you in my next video. Bye!